Hello guys and welcome to today's thermal expansion tutorial on the cyclic assembler. So first thing of well if you look at it you just see the power these two are both inputs you have to put a schematic in here to, and this is the output. This is basically an autom automatic crafting table for thermal expansion. Now it does require 20 RF to function. I'm only not saying this because if you need it because with this machine it actually matters okay so let's say so I've put the stone tool rod schematic in there so you it won't actually craft out of your own inventory you have to put it in the machine's inventory as and as you can see it will pretty fast make you all the stone tool rods that you can possibly want so if you were say want to make something with buckets like bog earth you have to put in the dirt, put in the sand, and for every bucket you put in, you will get your bog earth. But you see, that's, that's slightly slow. But luckily, you can automate this machine. So as you can see here, it takes these I just used to pump in the sand and dirt, but they're all done by now because they go rather quick. And this is pumping out. This machine pumps out automatically, and you can configure it right here. But the other nice thing is you can actually pump water into this machine. So I'm going to put this in and you're going to see what this machine does. Because it's automatically going to use that this water instead of a bucket. So as you can see it's rapidly well emptying and then just filling back up from this tank. Now as you can see it makes it works very very fast. This is a a very efficient machine and I will pro probably run out of water before it has used up all this earth I know it used up all the earth with stick all the water with six stacks with quite a bit left over so let's see how far it goes this machine does use a lot of water so be sure to have quite a water we're gonna need one one milli bucket we're gonna need one milli bucket of water well I don't think we're going to be getting that. This one has a milli bucket left. So I'll put it right there. Okay. So. That, that made it. Last bit of it. Okay. So that has been the Cyclic Assembler. It's a really easy machine to use. Except for the fact that you need schematics. But luckily schematics are pretty easy to get in the machinist workbench. If you want to see how this machine works. Please go check out my Machinist Workbench tutorial. I have made one of those as well. Okay, thank you very much for watching. This has been the Cold Project. I hope you found this tutorial informational as well as fun to watch. Okay, see you guys in the next video.